Hello and welcome to the Red Report. My name's Danny, and today we're going to be talking about the Ebolas. Ebola, Ebola, Ebola. Ebo it just sounds like fun yoga exercise. My biceps really started cramping up, and then I did some Ebola, and now they're just nice and loose. That's not what Ebola is. Today I will tell you everything you need to know about Ebola. Ever. <laughs> Ebola causes a hemorrhagic fever called the Ebola virus disease. Hemorrhagic means you start bleeding from everywhere, all the time, inside and outside of your body. It's incredibly gross and disgusting. I saw some pictures on the intranets and it's a yucky. On a scale of one to a million, where one on that scale can be represented by the lovable cute stuffed tiger and a million can be represented by the Ebola virus. <laughs> yucky. The first human outbreak occurred in 1976 in Northern Zaire near Central Africa. The virus was named after the Ebola River where the first virus was recognized. Just as a side note, I think the tourism board of the Congo should change the Ebola River to a different name because no one's gonna go to a river called Ebola River. I would vote something along the lines of wonderful unicorn tasting river place. That's a horrible name. Ebola is extremely infectious, but not very contagious. Infectious means that it, an infinitesimally small amount of it will actually get you sick, but not contagious means that it's not airborne. Sneezing on someone might get them sick, but being in the same room as them won't. Unless they sneeze in your face, which is always very bad. Humans can be infected by other humans by direct contact with the human that has Ebola. Direct contact. Do not touch people that have Ebola. Check. If I touch a glove and then that glove touches you and then I touch myself with that glove, then I have the Ebolas. This you not, don't touch the gloves that touch the Ebolas. Do not touch biomedical gloves that have touched people that have touched Ebola. Check. You can also get it by butchering an infected animal. So, don't go butchering infected animals. Infected animals, got it. This is good, this is good. We're not gonna die here. This is all very good. The symptoms of Ebola typically include weakness, fever, aches, diarrhea, vomiting, stomach pain, rash, red eyes, chest pain, throat soreness, and difficulty breathing or swallowing and bleeding. Lots and lots and lots of bleeding. Final summation, don't touch anything ever, 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 ever. And stay away from Unicorn River. <laughs> I love you, my little Do you join us on Friday when we continue our work?